out of this charger in the pits earlier, and then we got a word from Nick at the starting line that it just did a 570, which is actually pretty quick, considering this thing is looks like a 69 or 70 charger, and they shouldn't go that fast. We're going to figure out what the setup is on this thing. It looks kind of built, and it's basically a show car. This thing is gorgeous. So we're going to talk to it a little bit and uh, figure out the setup. How you doing? Good. I'm used to seeing this thing here, but I'm not used to seeing this thing do as well as it does, considering how good it looks. I don't know if that makes sense. Normally show cars don't do that, but this thing could literally go win best of show somewhere. Well, try to do a little of both. New, new combo, only about 25 hits on it. We're still trying to figure it out. The combo under the hood, what are we looking at there? I uh, had a shot better build performance. Uh, build me a 400 cubic inch Gen 3 Hemi. Got a couple of S71 turbos from forced inductions. Uh, some VTEC heads on it. and uh, Just a all steel, full interior street car. All little, steel little, factory glass too? Yeah, all, all glass. That's a glass or a glass scoop on a steel hood. Factory seats, door panels, dash, everything. So it's it's not light. Drove it here, I'll drive it home and just trying to figure out some suspension stuff. So currently leaving in second year. I don't think this is the day to try to make some hits and do some suspension tuning. So gotcha. kind of holding me back, but that's what I've got to work with so far. What, what kind of power is this combo good for? On kill. On kill, I don't know. It's made a little over 1,300 on a dyno at 25 pounds of boost. Not getting too crazy with timing. So I think if I really turned it up, we could probably do 1,500 is to the tires. So this is actually what they call a BGE block, which it's the same exact block that you would find in a Hellcat. It's just what they put in the truck. So 6.4 block. And then I've got Molnar uh, cranking rods and some diamond pistons in it. So this is like the LS truck version. This is like a 5.3 pretty, version, pretty but this much, is a lot nicer. Much, yeah, yeah. They say this block's good to about 1,800 of the tire, so. Really? How long have you had the car? What's the story on the car? So I've had the car for 15 years. It's actually kind of a four-year on and off restoration project. Friends and family, we did all the paint and body. My brother, he's the mastermind behind that. He painted it, believe it or not, 10 years ago. So It looks gorgeous. Holding up well, so you did a good job. Used some good materials. That's kind of all the difference, so. Gotcha. Well, we absolutely love this car. I love the old Chargers, and this thing, it just looks like when it, when it rolls in, it's like, oh, that's a really nice resto mod. Like, it probably is a nice cruiser and everything. Then you see it go down the track, you're like, no, that's a race car. I mean, it's, it's legit. I mean, I, it doesn't even think about overheating. I mean, on the drive down here, coolant temps in the 170s, tranny temps 130s. I mean, it's, it could be in stop and go traffic. And that's when we only run a, run in one cooling fan. If I didn't stop and go, I turn the second fan on. I mean, it stays 180 degrees. I mean, I worked with a lot of good people making sure this car would do what I wanted it to do. and happy with it so far just gotta iron out some things well i'm excited to get to see this as much as i do and thank you for bringing it out no, we love getting you. a look at this every every time we can i so, appreciate it uh good luck in the race and you're gonna go back for another hit or are you gonna go yeah you're, you're i didn't prep my slip so i don't know if they'll honor that or what so we're gonna go up there and i don't have any data to go off of so i don't know what it did uh it hooked pretty well so i'll but leaving in second it's it's lazy so i'll turn the two step up a little bit Try to get another a pound or two of boost out of it and just back it up with another 570 and turn that in. that are changing your tires yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we are switching from radials to slicks. I'm gonna try it. These have a fair amount of hits on them. I don't know if they've just too much to where they're becoming inconsistent. So try to get up there last second at least see if this solves the issue. You got about nine minutes to make a pass and turn it slip. It's gonna be tight. Yep. It's gonna be tight. So this at least gives me something to go off of. Well. Hopefully, hopefully you don't have to go back to the radio. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Good luck, man. Awesome. Thanks, brother.
right, so they didn't do what you thought they were going to do? No, they didn't. So the only thing I can think of is turn it down for the first 100 feet or so and try to get it to bite. Are you going to switch back to the radials? Yeah, I'm going to put the radials back on because I've got a few tunes that should get me down track with those, you okay. know, shock settings and whatnot. I don't have much time on the slick, so I'll go back to what I know. Hopefully I get in the Dominator class, we'll see. Okay. I had to turn in the 591 slip since my 579 didn't print, so probably won't be as far up the ladder as I'd like, but we'll give it all we got. All you have to do is not go a tenth faster than the fastest guy. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'll have to worry about that. Okay. A lot of a lot of big hitters out here. I'm kind of a little guy, but there's a few, we'll, but we'll give it a shot. Alright. Well we'll see where you land. Alright. Good luck, man. Alright. suspension yet so I'm gonna keep that pretty similar and just pour it on down track see what happens are you still launching in second still in second yeah gotcha. do you know who you're racing yet or no Tom and the Rambler oh so, damn he's fast that's yeah he's rough. not that's slow for rough. sure so yeah I need to come out here on a test and tune night and try to figure out first gear but I just got new shocks and the new converter in and uh, just tried second gear leave because I wanted to come here and be able to go a couple rounds hopefully so just kind of working with that gotcha well good luck Tom's not a slouch, but... No, I'm uh, going to have to hope I go A to B and he doesn't. There you go. So. Well, good luck to you, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Absolutely. feel better you treat the crap out of him. I did. He, he, as soon as he got out of the car, he's I was sleeping. I was he sleeping was, on that he one. He was, but I don't know what happened there, but I'm normally up around 129. Cars surging weird. I don't know how to pull the log. Something funny happened. So. But hey, good race. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, he said he had to come around you. I, I knew that was my only chance is to catch him sleeping. So well, he did a good job he of that. Made it a good race at least. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much for bringing the car. Yeah, out. absolutely. I was thank sleeping. Ah, oh, there he is. Wake up. He was just giving me a chance, you know, uh, no, make I me wasn't. feel, you know, I like I was gonna go somewhere. That was everything she had. I didn't let out of it. <laughs> well, thank you very yeah, much for bringing the car out, man. Appreciate it. I don't think you can lose to a better guy right No, there. absolutely. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm okay. I even told him that before we went up there. I'm okay with it. <laughs> this Charger is seriously probably one of our favorite cars on the property today. Uh, it's awesome to see it run. It's even. It looks even better than it runs. Does that make sense? It runs pretty damn good, so if that tells you anything. Uh, really cool setup. Really cool guy. Uh, shout out to him for bringing the car. It's seriously like a masterpiece. I wish, I wish more people did right. Mopars like this, like right. pro mod, not pro mod, resto mod style. Nope. This thing is cool as hell. What is up, guys? Welcome back. We are here at I-29 for another no prep. Uh, difference this time is flashlight start. But our buddy Rick is here with his 1970 Charger. It's gorgeous with a Gen 3 Hemi in it. But we're gonna catch back up with him right now and see how he runs tonight. How's it going, man? What's up, Fred? Not, not much. How, how you been? Good, good. Any changes since ICC on the car? Uh, actually, yeah, I took my rear Viking shocks off, sent them to Yancey Rodriguez. You know, when we talked at Ice Cream Cruise, uh, I've been leaving in second gear, just chasing suspension problems. Um, I guess long story short with the car, like my fourth pass in the car, we went 570s. And then uh, pulling data logs on the converter. The old converter wouldn't flash at all. Couldn't build any boosts on the line. It was kind of grabbing a hold of the engine, bogging it down. So got with Pete Nichols at Hughes. Got me a way better converter. So now I can actually build boosts. The thing flashes. Nice. But nice. now I have definite suspension problems. So sent those shocks off. I literally had $40 Napa shocks on here. I was going to come out here after the TV star canceled on the track. I wanted to support them right. one way or another. But anyways, found some old 
nine-way adjustable Rancho, so I have no idea what the heck the car is going to do at all. No, so, not nothing. Not, not a clue. So <laughs> I didn't want to enter drag radio because I know it's not going to work for that. So I'm entering 650 class, just okay. putting a baby soft tune up in here, and. Uh, a lot of these guys know their cars and know what they're doing, so I'll get knocked out early and then I'll just uh, put some power to it and just see what happens. All right. so far getting lucky how's the car running running pretty good trying to figure out the pedal game so <laughs> yeah yeah uh, I barely worked on the last one yeah I've got a got to get my game to better better for a couple of these guys they're on the ball so yeah like I mentioned earlier to Fred I have no data on low boost passes so I have no idea what it's doing through different shocks on the back and how are those working out Working better than what I had, actually. Really? $100. Actually, thankfully, my brother found my ranchos I had on this six years ago, and it's 60 foot and 145, which is matching <laughs> the best I had with my shocks I sent out. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, hopefully, when you get them revalved and everything, it'll uh, be yeah, rock and rolling. Yeah, the car should work well. Uh, my goals when I built this car was hopefully to go 530s or 540s. So, for a heavy car that I drive quite a bit, that's yeah. know, not the fastest thing, but I'll be proud of that. And it's, it's got the power to do it, so just. Suspension is not easy. Uh, mm. Lesson learned is don't skimp on shocks. I thought I'd be able to make what I have work and that didn't work out, so I should have done it a long time ago. Now you know. Now I know, lesson learned. All right, let's see if you can make it the third round. I'm hoping. Good luck. Thanks, pal. now yeah I'm getting there which is surprising like I said I came here not having a clue what it would do got a little somewhat data off the first couple runs and kind of running with it got it pretty darn close yeah and perfect timing too because you know Lanny's got that dialed in too yeah he does I, I didn't think I'd get that one so I'm getting lucky tonight I got one more yeah one more one more than you're in the money yep good luck all right thanks Kyle <laughs> So the other car that was going to be in the final for 650 was that old Dodge, yeah, it was that old Dodge truck, those slam chassis truck, whatever. Well, he got a flat tire and he can't repair it, so Rick just has to make a buy run 
anyways. So I think you turn it up as fast as you can make it right now. We'll see what it'll do, see if the track will hold it. Yeah, but as long as he breaks the beams, he takes home some money. second car again. Yeah, again. <laughs> yeah, cutting uh, one 4060s on some good old Rancho. That's shots. still 60 foot and good. Yeah, I'm going to do just a hair more on the leave and I've been chasing a 560 for forever. So and what's your quickest so far? 570. I would have had some 560 passes, but the intercooler can't keep up. So it starts pulling timing the last couple seconds of a run. Probably had ah. some meth injection somewhat soon here. So chasing nitrous. a 560, it's gonna happen next Get time. a nitrous bottle sprayed on there right I, before I you go. I need something, right. Yep, <laughs> yep, for sure. I wasted how many passes and tires fighting with these shocks, and I had these damn things sitting on a shelf for six years. <laughs> Crazy. But no, it's awesome. It's awesome. Hell yeah. Well, hell of a night for Rick Finley. He came here thinking he was just going to sandbag his way through a couple rounds, have some fun, and then relax after going out. And he won the class and was hoping to go 660s or in a 650. Amazing. Hell of a night of racing for Rick. And one of my favorite cars in the local area here. He finished his paint job like 10 years ago, the Viper Green. I remember shooting long exposure shots out here, I don't know, eight, nine years ago. And just, that's my favorite part about this car is when it glows, that green glows at night. But uh, we'll be shooting more of this car in the future. It's, it's locally here. We see it on the track all the time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to share it with your friends, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time.